You know, my ex-fiance is a yoga teacher now, and when we were together, when we were together, sometimes we would do partner yoga. Partner yoga is basically you each have a yoga mat. You touch the other person's body to help with a stretch. And it was kind of my introduction to yoga. So the very last thing I did tonight was when I was finished, I just, I just lay down. I just lay down on my back, completely still. The last thing that we would do in couples yoga is you sit cross-legged and you face the other person. One of you kind of sits on the other's lap and you just hug, you just hug, you just hug. And that was always my favorite part, just hugging her. But I've been thinking a lot more about my body. I mean, I've thought a lot about my body because of my transition and the things I don't like about it and the things that I don't identify with. Starting this transition has also made me so interested in my health. And I think that's why I've started doing yoga on my own now, because I'm just interested in staying healthy, staying active. I wanted to lose some weight, so I changed my diet. One of my doctors told me that I had high blood pressure at one point. Heart disease runs in my family, so high blood pressure for me is not good. I've had to start thinking about the way I move. Like the way I walk now. I think that I walk like a woman now because I've spent kind of a lot of time and energy thinking about how I walk, feeling how I walk while I'm walking. I started going on these walks at the very beginning of everything when I never thought I was going to make it as a woman. I would practice moving my hips as I walked. Like I would do, I would do it over exaggerated on purpose to, to see what it felt like. You know, learning to walk again, learning to sit. Then when I started crossing my legs, I had to figure out how to do it feminine. All these things, all these things about my body have been on my mind, and my transition, and my health, and the way I control my body. You know, this is going to sound like total stoner hippie talk, but like, you know, have you ever thought about, like, the skin that you inhabit? You can feel every inch of your body, and like, this body is nothing but a container complex chemical factory. Like, my body has changed so much because of hormones, because of hormones, because of hormones. And it's just a little patch that I stick on my hip. How could this little thing do so much? And it's just that my brain has just responded to it. And my body has responded to my brain. I have felt physically ill because I was basically mentally ill. I had problems, and um, my body was not happy. And guess what? A couple months or a few months or so after I started accepting these things about myself and, and moving forward with transition, my body got better. But why am I talking about the body so much tonight? I guess I just feel like my transition has really opened my mind to the physical world that I inhabit. I'm a gamer, and so I started playing Battlefield, Bad Company 2. It's a little too much, or it was a little too much for me. I have noticed that my tolerance for violence has gone way down. I could just feel myself getting anxious. My brain is being stimulated so much by these images, and I could feel like my heart was starting to race, and like I was just getting tense, and I was like, I, I don't think I want this feeling right now. And I don't know if I had that feeling, one, because I was jet-lagged, or two, because <laughs> two because I, um, I've been on hormones for close to a year, or, and, and just, I physiologically changed to not really receive those signals as strongly, or a combination of the two, or just getting older, or getting grumpier, I don't know. I don't really have a point. The point is that I don't really have a point just that these have been things on my mind. Thanks for listening to me ramble, and uh, I'll see you next time.